what would you think if your 401k match actually became money that you could put towards your student loan debt and or your medical debt? Let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm reading this article and I'm like, wow, this may be a game changer for many individuals and many people. Let's see exactly what it's talking about. If you are new to my channel, my name is Nyjah and I talk about all things that are budgeting, investing, side hustle, as well as me living a mortgage-free life. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the all notification bell so that you're not missing any of the uploads that I have, as well as if you are a returning subscriber, go ahead and comment down below. There will be several questions that I ask you throughout this video, and I want to get your feedback on it. I want to know if your company gave you the 401k match, like they weren't putting it in your 401k, but you could opt to have it. Would you go ahead and take it in order to help you pay down that student loan debt and those medical bills? So this article came from Yahoo Finance. You can look for it there. To read more of it, I'm just going to hit some of the highlighted points for this article. It says the IRS just made a ruling on 401k company matches that will change the way Americans apply contributions. So it says, what if you had the flexibility to choose how to use your 401k match? One company has just started allowing it. The IRS Internal Revenue Service ruled that the employees at an unnamed company can designate a portion of their employer match to student debt repayments or health reimbursement accounts in addition to their traditional 401k. If you don't already know, if you have with your employer a 401k, some of them, most of them have a match. In other words, so if you contribute 1% or let's just say 3% out of your paycheck that goes into your retirement fund at your job, the company, if they say they have a match, will also match 3%. So let's say that you have coming out of your paycheck $320. They will match that $320 that you have contributed. So now you have $640. That's just an example. It may be a percentage match that they do, or it may be a dollar amount specifically that they do. So check with your employer if you are unfamiliar, if you have a 401k and or if you have a 401k match, this will be a great time to go ahead and get started on that before 2025. Remember, we're trying to prepare our finances for 2025. In August, the IRS provided the so-called private letter ruling to the unnamed company stating that they could offer workers more flexibility with their 401k accounts. At the beginning of each year, employees can decide where to allocate their funds. If a choice isn't made, funds will automatically go into an employee's retirement account. Although the ruling isn't widespread at this time, the unnamed company had submitted a request to the IRS for the change. It's being viewed by many as a trial run for the IRS, one that could potentially allow for more businesses to offer flexibility with 401k. If this happens, American workers would be able to funnel their funds towards specific goals outside of retirement. But is this really a good idea? So comment down below, let me know if your job offered you the ability to have your 401k match, not just the, not the 401k that you contribute out of your paycheck or that's taken out, but the match that they provide. If they provided that match to you, maybe like in a separate account, would you go ahead and use that for paying off your student loan debt and or medical debt? Or would you just continue to take the match? So let's go ahead and look at what it's talking about. Some of the benefits of the flexible 401k match could be. For starters, it could be a powerful recruiting tool for employers because they'd be better able to alleviate their workers' biggest financial concerns outside of the retirement years. Also, individual employees could also benefit as they could get more support in different aspects of their financial journey. We've got some statistics here that I want to go ahead and read. It says Fidelity reports that roughly 22% of employees don't claim their full employer match on 401k plans. Guys, let me pause it right here. Pause for the cause. Why are you not getting the match at least? 
claim that match. 22% is way too high. Okay. Way too high. I know my job does not do a 401k at all. We have a teacher retirement system and there is no match whatsoever for that. It's literally, they just put in a one-time payment at the end of October every year based off of the amount that you have that you've been contributing to your account. And it's like a 2%. Okay. Just it's 2%. So if you are missing out on the match, I need for you to contact your HR department right away and figure out exactly what is it that you have and how much that match is, okay? Because we want the match. We want the match if we can't get anything else. These workers may be leaving free money on the table because they can't afford to earn the full match and still pay their bills. That is a problem. Some people are underemployed and they don't even have enough money. But I will say, if possible, I know that the match may be three up to 6% or more, depending on your company. If you're able to do at least 1%, just 1% of your paycheck, please just, just do that in order to at least get something out of it, something out of it. If they could use matching contributions to help them pay off medical or educational debt, they'd get that money they're missing out on and maybe become debt-free faster, which could make a difference regarding their future savings for retirement. Even employees currently maxing out their match might prefer to instead use the money to pay off student loans or medical bills for a couple of years. And guys, we know how that student loan debt as well as medical bills can basically sideline you and saddle you to the side because it's such an astronomical amount and with the interest on top of it, shout out to Deborah's journey. She just paid off her student loan debt. And I know she is very relieved. It's been a while since I've seen someone in the budgeting community talk about paying off their student loan debt. I think the last person that I saw was Tasha from Mind Your Money. So definitely check out these two channels, Tasha from Mind Your Money and Deborah's journey. Uh, Deborah, she, both of these ladies, paid off their student loan debt and have been working a plan ever since. So it says more flexibility would allow employers to better prioritize their goals. Now it does have some cons or some downsides that it states regarding the 401k. And I'm also going to show and share some comments from the comment section here regarding how people are feeling about this whole 401k match and you being able to have it to pay off student loan debt and or medical bills. Some of the downsides or the drawback of it is that if employees prioritize areas other than retirement, they lose the power of compounding. This is when an asset's earnings are reinvested in order to create more earnings over the long term. You know, we always talk about compound interest as being the eighth wonder of the world. It's magical, guys. It's like the magical unicorn, okay? And that is a point because, you know, the more that you get your dividends and or your money reinvested back into itself, that's called drip, drip investing. I do have a video over that. Make sure that you check out my investing playlist that will be listed in there. It talks about drip investing, dividend reinvestment plan, and how that compound interest basically helps to buy you more shares and grow your share size for stocks and ETFs that you have. The video breaks it down in a very simple, easy way so that you can understand exactly what drip investing is. If that just sounds very overwhelming to you, please make sure that you check out that video. I will make sure I have it in the pinned comment for you guys. Compound interest works wonders. It absolutely helps you, you definitely want to take advantage of it. That's something that you would be missing out if you opted to receive the 401k match in order to pay off the student loan debt. There's so many pros and cons to this. But it also says many Americans are already behind on these retirement planning and removing these incentives and the extra help employers offer may leave them far short of their financial goals. We have some more statistics here from the Federal Reserve that states the median retirement savings for households with people between ages 55 and 65 is $185,000, which is not enough for a comfortable retirement. Let that sink in, guys. 
let that sink in. Think about the number of people in your life that are age 55 and 65, or between those ages, I should say, that have retired and how much they have in their own personal retirement accounts, not social security, but their own personal retirement accounts if they've shared that information with you. In addition, a whopping one in four Americans have nothing saved for retirement, including 27% who are already retired, according to the previous data from the Federal Reserve. It may be too tempting for workers to prioritize student loans or medical debt in an attempt to eliminate a monthly bill or to become debt-free, even when they'd actually get a better ROI or return on investment with retirement investing, especially since student loans often come with an affordable tax deductible interest and are designed to be paid off over the long haul. Now, I'm not sure about that last statement. You all let me know, those of you all that have student loans, because I've never had student loans because of the program and the way that I was able to obtain my degree. But I don't know about that affordable tax deductible interest and are designed to be paid off over the long haul. Like I know that they will stretch it for an amount of time, but while they're stretching it for a long amount of time, you're also paying all that interest each and every month. It's almost like having a mortgage payment where if you just pay the amount for the loan without putting anything extra on it, you would literally pay three times the amount for your home instead of the original amount. With me paying off a mortgage, I still paid a large portion of interest. I was able to save later on down the line as I got closer and got more gazelle intense with paying off my mortgage, but still, it was a lot of money that I paid out in interest, interest alone, okay? So yeah, I'm not sure about that last line. You all will have to let me know in the comment section how you all feel about that last line as it pertains to you and student loans. If more companies adopt this new system, employees should think carefully before moving funds away from retirement savings because unless their debt is a sizable financial burden, they may be far better off sticking with the status quo. So let's go ahead and look at some of the comments here and see exactly what people are saying regarding this 401k match that employers could potentially go ahead and give to their employees. Now, remember, there's only one company that's in like the beta or the testing phase of this or the trial phase of this. So we don't even know if this will come into fruition all the way. But as things are being reported and as I see more articles about this, I will make sure I share that with you. So Bob says, I don't see how that helps. Most companies have healthcare spending accounts, especially those having 401k, and unsure how they could put it towards college debt since it's taxed as soon as you remove from the 401k. Why not just pay college debt? Rule of thumb is when you start work with the company and matching 401k, is you do up to the max the company matches. Then each year when you get a raise, up your 401k by 1% to 2% or more depending on the raise. That's if you get a raise, Bob. And that 1% to 2% raise may not actually be anything, especially in these times of inflation, but I can see exactly what he's talking about. Law says, I'm sure we don't have all the facts from this one tiny article versus the dozens and dozens of pages this proposal covers. However, just the idea that Americans who by nature are spenders with their money can now spend away their 401k match when it's meant for them to save for the future does not sound like a good idea. There was five replies for that. You guys can go to this article and see what the reply are as well. I'm going to go ahead and look at a few more. Patrick says, horrible idea. 401k money is for retirement, not to free up disposable income so those with terrible spending habits can spend the money. Apparently, it's a role of the government to protect you from yourself and do what they can to make sure that you have some sort of retirement to live off of when you stop working. Let's not create an even bigger welfare state than we already have. What about it states companies like IBM got rid of pensions long, long ago and now no longer match 401ks. Employees are on their own for retirement, 100%. IBM increased cash on hand 
by about $1 billion last quarter in part by this. It's yet another way companies are cutting to make it look like they're more profitable. Let me know if your company does not even have a 401k and maybe you are saving outside of that uh, Roth IRA or maybe you are self-employed. Let me know in the comments section because that's also something where individuals don't even have a 401k. MW Grad says, that is actually a new option we have this year with my employer. I agree, you are better off putting the funds towards something like an S&P 500 index retirement fund unless your student loan rates are very high. So it looks like there's somewhat of some disapproval <laughs> regarding this in the comment section, but obviously this is not the majority of individuals all in the world because this is just a snapshot but let me know guys what exactly would you do if your employer offered this option to you regarding your 401k match would you take it and help to pay off your student loan debt and or your medical debt that you have if you happen to enjoy this informative video that i have provided to you guys today and you found some value in it please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up to show YouTube that you are enjoying it, as well as leave me a comment below. We want to make sure that we share this video out to more individuals so that more eyes can see exactly what may be coming up in the future. And if you are enjoying the video, I thank you so much for being here. Once again, Bacon Bit Squad, you guys are awesome. And thank you so much for the continued love and support. Until the next video, guys. Bye.